We all know Jesus would stand against things that many Christians today support, like nationalism, racism, sexism, homophobia, capitalism, imperialism. Many of us have grown up learning about this radical Jesus, and then we end up taking him so seriously that we become too radical for the community that taught us about Jesus. This is my experience too. One of my favorite Bible stories is this story from the week Jesus is executed, where he goes into the temple's outer court, flips their tables, pours out their coins, and drives out the people buying and selling offerings. And he uses this opportunity to accuse the religious authorities of turning the temple into a den of robbers. Now, a den of robbers is not where people are robbed. A den of robbers is where robbers go and hide, expecting to be safe and to avoid the consequences. Jesus accuses the religious authorities of hiding in the temple and using their religion to avoid the injustices going on in the world. I think this story is more relevant than ever. Because today, we all know people who claim to follow Jesus and also use their religion to hide and avoid the injustices going on in our world. I believe Jesus shows us what God is like. And in the temple, Jesus shows us the God who riots in response to people prioritizing worship over justice. And the spirit of this God is embodied in today's protests, riots, and strikes. This book is for those of us who have always suspected that Jesus is more radical than what they've taught us. And for those who want to discover a faith that actually empowers us to actively participate in our struggle for liberation. And when we join this struggle, we are joining the God who riots alongside us, within us, and through us.